This isn't just another mystery from ancient Egypt. Christopher Dunn's theories indicates that the Great Pyramid was sending a microwave signal to a satellite. And in fact, studies of his working devices have shown that this probably would work. Imagine an archaeologist, Zahi Hawass, charged with stealing artifacts, including something that shouldn't even exist. What an exciting moment! Making a discovery and people are talking outside was nonsense! Copper wires found in the Great Pyramid of Giza at a time when electricity hadn't even been discovered. Why would ancient Egyptians need copper wires? Even stranger, why would anyone want to steal them? This question only deepens the mystery surrounding the Great Pyramid. While it's widely believed to be the tomb of a pharaoh, some historians and even Elon Musk have proposed alternative theories. Could it have been an ancient power plant instead? This is based on our new knowledge that they, in fact, are designed to tap the resonant power of the Earth and then to distribute it around the world. Teotihuacan matches precisely this model. Let's dive into this enigma. The Stolen Copper Wires In 2014, former Egyptian Minister of Antiquities Zahi Hawass made headlines not only for his role in Egyptology, but for being charged with the theft of Egyptian antiquities. We began to review what's missing. We found that is eight pieces are missing. Among the stolen items were ancient copper wires found in the Great Pyramid of Giza, an artifact that raises more questions than answers. Leslie, I don't want anyone to talk, or I will leave. Copper wires in a pyramid where electricity hadn't been discovered yet? It's a baffling thought. Even more puzzling is the fact that these wires were stolen. Why would someone risk everything to take an artifact so seemingly insignificant unless it wasn't? The mystery grows when you consider the possibility that these wires weren't a mere decoration or an ancient error, but part of something much bigger. Some theorists believe that the Great Pyramid, rather than being a tomb, was an ancient power plant designed to generate and transmit energy. In the ancient world, there was a view that this life that we have, this physical life, is our opportunity to prepare ourselves for a vast destiny that lies beyond this life. The existence of these copper wires could be evidence of an electrical system far ahead of its time, leading some to speculate that the pyramid's purpose was not just for burial, but for some kind of ancient energy generation. Why would someone want to hide this from the public? Could it be that there's something more to the pyramid that Egyptologists aren't telling us? The Great Pyramid's True Purpose The mystery deepens when we consider the true purpose of the Great Pyramid. For centuries, it's been accepted as the tomb of Pharaoh Khufu, also known as Cheops. However, several inconsistencies challenge this narrative. The pyramid's architectural design, the absence of pharaonic treasures, and the lack of the pharaoh's body have led some researchers to question whether it was ever intended to be a tomb at all. Instead, there are growing theories that suggest the pyramid served another function, perhaps as a massive power plant, capable of harnessing and transmitting energy. Researchers propose that the pyramids constructed around the world are, in fact, power plants. The pyramid's precise construction, its alignment with the cardinal points, and the sophisticated materials used, like granite, suggest that the builders had a much greater purpose in mind. The Great Pyramid is a testament to ancient Egyptians' ingenuity, acumen, and technical and scientific prowess. Granite, a highly durable and difficult to process material, was transported from 800 kilometers away. Why go through such a monumental effort for a tomb? Some argue that it wasn't just for aesthetic reasons, but for its unique properties, such as the ability to conduct electricity. Could the Great Pyramid have been an ancient device for harnessing energy from the Earth's natural forces? The idea that it might not be a tomb, but a complex power generator, offers an alternative explanation for its enigmatic design and the peculiar artifacts found within. The Construction of the Great Pyramid The construction of the Great Pyramid of Giza remains one of the most extraordinary feats of engineering in human history. It was built over a span of about 20 years involving over 20,000 workers who transported and assembled over 2 million stone blocks. Each block weighed several tons, and the pyramid's total weight is estimated to be equivalent to 10 million camels. The sheer scale of this undertaking seems unimaginable, 
especially considering the time period. The Great Pyramid was not just a monumental structure, it was a testament to ancient engineering knowledge and coordination. However, what makes its construction even more intriguing is the material used. The bulk of the pyramid was built with limestone, but the internal chambers, including the King's Chamber, were constructed from massive blocks of granite, a material much harder to transport and work with. We're in the King's Chamber, more or less in the heart of the pyramid. Here is essentially this great granite lined box built for the most part to contain the body of the king. Granite was brought from quarries located 800 kilometers away, a logistical challenge that seems excessive for what would be an ordinary tomb. This choice of materials combined with the immense scale of the pyramid has led some researchers to propose that its construction involved not only advanced techniques, but also a specific purpose beyond just burial. Was it built to serve as a tomb, or was it designed to serve a much grander, more technological function? Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. The Pyramid's Lost Splendor The Great Pyramid was once a dazzling sight to behold. Its polished white limestone surface reflecting the sun's rays in a brilliant display of light. This layer of limestone, which was later stolen by marauders over the centuries, would have given the pyramid a pristine, gleaming appearance that made it stand out against the Egyptian desert landscape. The pyramid's splendor didn't end there. The apex of the pyramid, known as the Pyramidion, was once covered in gold, further enhancing the structure's reflective quality. The golden capstone would have caught the sun's rays, casting a radiant glow over the entire structure. The visual brilliance of the pyramid would have been a clear symbol of the pharaoh's power and divine connection to the sun god Ra. It was said that the pyramid, in its original state, was a mirror of the heavens, a celestial symbol of Egypt's grandeur. But over time, the elements and human greed took their toll. The polished limestone was looted, and the golden pyramidion was removed. What remains today is a shadow of the pyramid's former brilliance, yet it still holds a grandeur that continues to captivate visitors from around the world. While the pyramid's physical appearance has diminished, it still retains a certain mysterious aura, one that leaves many wondering if the pyramid was ever truly meant to be a tomb. Could its design have been a deliberate attempt to mirror the heavens in a way far beyond the ordinary burial of a ruler? the sarcophagi and the absence of the pharaoh's body. One of the most perplexing aspects of the Great Pyramid is the absence of Pharaoh Khufu's body. The so-called tomb of the pharaoh, known as the King's Chamber, houses a massive granite box that Egyptologists believe is the sarcophagus of Khufu. However, this granite box is unlike typical pharaonic sarcophagi, which were intricately carved and often decorated with hieroglyphs or royal symbols. This one is simple, unadorned, and seems almost out of place for such an important ruler. There are no carvings, no inscriptions, nothing that would indicate this was the final resting place of Egypt's most famous pharaoh. In fact, there is no evidence that any pharaoh ever lay in the Great Pyramid. The absence of Khufu's remains has puzzled archaeologists for centuries. Some theorize that the body was stolen by tomb robbers long ago, but others question whether the pyramid was ever meant to house a body at all. The simplicity of the granite box in the king's chamber further suggests that this chamber was not designed as a traditional burial site. The lack of Khufu's body raises more questions than it answers, leaving historians to ponder the pyramid's true purpose. Unexplored parts and hidden chambers. Beneath the Great Pyramid lies a network of unexplored tunnels and chambers, deepening its mystery. While much of the pyramid's interior has been studied, some areas remain hidden, including the so-called unfinished chambers and tunnels leading far below the pyramid. These tunnels don't seem to serve any clear purpose, and there's no official explanation for why they were included. A recent discovery of a void inside the pyramid, revealed through muon radiography, has added to the intrigue. This hidden space may have been used to move stone blocks during construction, or could have a more complex function related to energy transmission. In addition, groundwater has been found beneath the pyramid, though the true significance of this is unclear. Why would the Egyptians build the pyramid above natural water sources? Could this be connected to the pyramid's intended function, 
potentially related to energy generation, these unexplored areas could hold answers we have yet to uncover. The Hypothesis of an Ancient Power Plant One theory suggests that the Great Pyramid was not a tomb, but an ancient power plant. Researchers propose that the pyramid was designed to generate and transmit energy, drawing on natural resources such as underground water, quartz, and metal crystals in the granite blocks. Its alignment with the cardinal points and the use of materials like granite, a good conductor of electricity, has fueled this idea. The pyramid could have functioned as a giant energy generator, channeling energy from the Earth's magnetic field. The copper wires allegedly stolen from the pyramid might have been part of this electrical system. The reflective gold pyramidion may have also amplified the energy, directing it upwards. This theory offers a more advanced explanation for the pyramid's construction, suggesting it served a purpose far beyond being a simple tomb. If true, the pyramid could have been an essential component of an ancient energy system designed to harness and transmit power. The Great Pyramid of Giza continues to captivate and confuse researchers, with each discovery uncovering more questions than answers. From its mysterious copper wires to the strange acoustics and unexplained voids, the pyramid seems to hold secrets far beyond our current understanding of ancient Egypt. Whether it was a tomb, a power plant, or something else entirely, the possibility that the pyramid was an advanced energy generator raises fascinating questions about the knowledge and capabilities of the ancient Egyptians. Perhaps in the future we will finally uncover the true purpose of this monumental structure, one that has stood for over 4,500 years.